If you have been using CapCut for your projects but you are curious about something new, whatever you are beginner or you are editing for a while, Filmora might be a good choice for you. There is a lot of editing tools out there like After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Filmora and others. But for this video we are going to focus on Filmora. Why? Filmora has an easy interface much like a CapCut but with more editing tools and AI features that can help you with your projects. So let's go. One feature Filmora has that CapCut doesn't is a draw shape tool. In many projects we need to derive shapes with the different colors. In CapCut we usually have to import an image and use the mask tool to create a shape. But in Filmora we can directly draw a shape like lines, right angle and circle. So if you want to use the drawing tools you can find them in the timeline here just click on it and choose a right angle arrow, ellipse, and triangle or line. So I'm going to choose a right angle. Then click and drag into your player window like this. And now we create a background for ourselves. And we can adjust the shape from here. We can, for example, fix the empty areas. Then on the right side, if you scroll a bit, uh, you can change the color. For example, let's choose a, a green color or maybe a blue. Sorry, it's purple. You can change the flat color to a gradient. Just click on a color fill and change it to a gradient. Then you need to choose a two color. For example, I want to choose a green and a red. See, we create a, a, a gradient background and we can change the angle like this. So you don't need to use a Photoshop or other software. You can do all the things in Filmora and it's very cool. Let me add another rectangle into the timeline like this. So if you hold the shift, you can create a square, then put it at the center of the shot. If you want to add a border, you can scroll down a bit and you can find the border option here. Uh, let's change the color to a, a blue and you can increase the thickness to see it better like this. You can increase the blur to make the edges softer. You can add the drop shadow on it and it's very cool because we don't have this option in CapCut and it's very useful. You should apply a drop shadow on a PNG icons, videos or any layer into your projects and it's make it more 3D shape and it's very cool and very useful. So if you want to add the drop shadow just enable it and you have a four option here like soft, tiled and projection. It's more sharper. If you scroll down a bit, you can see more option here that you have more control on the shadows like a distance or you can adjust the blur to make the shadow softer or you can reduce the opacity. Yeah, it's very cool and you can use it for any project you have and you can use the animation tab here like uh, fade in, see? Unlike a CapCut stack media, which often feels limited, Filmora 14 offers a high quality, more motion background, cinematic transition, and trending assets. You can even use them as a B-roll for your projects and make your editings look more polished and professional. So I want to use some uh, stack media footage for this motivation project. So let's take a look at it first. Every morning when you get up, say over and over to yourself, do it now, do it now. I also add a, a little epic music for the uh, motivation. Every morning when you get up, say over and over to yourself, do it now, do it now, do it now. So go to the Stack Media tab and scroll down a bit. On the Epic tab, we have some cool shots. So let's use some of them. I used this one before. Yeah, I think this good. So import it to a timeline and choose the Keep Project settings. Then select the layer and rotate it, then I scale it. And let me enable my text layer. Don't do it now, do it now, do it now. See, it's very cool. Don't do it now, do it now, do it now. For this part, let me use this shot. Yeah, Epic Shock Media. Uh, I like this one, it's very cool. Let me import it in the timeline and click on a project settings and scale it. Tendency to procrastinate, program your subconscious mind with this automatic condition command. Yeah, cool. So you can use this footage for any project you have and you can use them as a B-rolls to make your project more professional and polished. And these days we use a lot of AI videos 
so we can find the uh, very cool shots in the different categories. So now let's jump to the next part. Film around now lets you animate the object smoothly just like After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can see the pass curve and adjust it manually and even use them as a graph editor to create a smoother motion. So if you want to animate this car, first you need to create the keyframe for position and move your playhead a little further and move it to the right side like this. And now you create a two keyframe. But if you want to change the position a lot between this keyframe, you usually need to change them from the transform tab. But with this pass curve option, if you enable it from here and then click on your object, now we can see the pass curve. And now you can move this keyframe up and now we create another keyframe here. Then move your playhead a little further, create a, another keyframe for this part. And with this feature, you have more control on your keyframes and you can see what's happening on your projects. And we can change the keyframe from linear to curve by right click on your keyframes and click on a curve. And you can do it from here too, just click on it and then right click on it and select the curve. Then you can move this graph, sorry, then you can move these graphs uh, up and down to create a different animation. And it's very useful because it saves you a lot of time to create a complex animation because uh, I have this feature on a Premiere Pro and it's very good because you can see what's happening on your project and you can move the keyframes from the player window and you don't need to worry about the create another keyframe by moving these keyframes. So you can play around with it, create a very cool animation. So yeah. Editing line tucking heads videos just got easier. With silence detection, FilmRaw 14 automatically detects and removes the silence gaps and cutting down on a manual editing timeline. Just right click on your video and select silence detection. Then click on analyze. And as you can see, it's got the pause in the videos and you can select export to the timeline and choose the keep project on a HD. Now you can see. It's true. I think there are a lot of people, a lot of financial advisors will say that one of the hardest things they do as an advisor is getting their client. So you can use this feature for any project you have, like a podcast or short form content. Even for this video, I use this feature a lot because it's removal pauses in my videos. So you can use this option to speed up your editing. And let's go to the next part. The next cool feature I want to talk about is a smart background music generation. You know, finding the perfect sign for your projects can be really tough, right? So sometimes it's hard to know what music will fit the vibe of your video. But in Filmora, you can use the smart background music tool to generate a sign based on your mood of your project. All you need to do, just click on it in the timeline and it start generating the sign for you based on your mood of your video. And it's really quick and the result is pretty amazing. And let's take a look at it. What does make me happy is independence. So I can just do these little quirky things that I like to do. So I think you just have to figure out the little things that make you happy. The next option I want to talk about is planner tracking. I already made a video about it, so you can find the link. I think I put it here. Just a quick mention, with this feature, we can track objects in your videos and we can replace the image and a video and it's pretty useful. If we compare CapCut, Filmora, and Premiere Pro, we can see which one has the most similar interface. Filmora 14 feels more like a Premiere Pro with the timeline layout and docking panels and advanced controls make it easier for editors transitioning from professional software. CapCut, on the other hand, has a more simplified interface. Filmora also has some awesome AI sound effects and AI music features. This can be really useful when you need to custom audio for your project. For AI music, just pick the right tag that fits your video stem. Click Generate and Filmora will create a three different version of the track. 
then you can choose the one that works best for your video. For AI sound effects, just type in something short like cheers or glass clink. And hit generate. And now I've got the three different chair sound you can hear there. See, it's very really cool. So there you have it. Filmora has a lot of great features that can help you with your project, from a simple editing tools to advanced AI features that can polish and professional your videos. So if you want to try it, just use my first link. And as always, stay creative. Cheers.